Welcome. If you are ready to see the top offers of 2019, that is the affiliate offers that make the most money, stay tuned because I'm going to show you exactly what offers work the best, which ones make me the most money, and we're going to show you real-time results of what's working now, how to find the right offer for your niche, and more. So you're not going to want to miss one second of this live stream because we're going to cover it all. And you can ask your questions live in the box so that we can answer them. Really cool. All right, so welcome to today's show. Today what we're going to do is talk about how to know the right offer to promote. What CPA offer is going to make you the most money for your traffic? That, my friends, is the million dollar question. Very cool. So tell me where you're listening from. We got Bruce from Ontario. We got Jeff from Pennsylvania, I think it is. William, uh, we got uh, a lot of people hopping on now. Mo from Seattle. We got William from Charlotte, North Carolina. Joe from Connecticut. And lots and lots of people. Really cool stuff. So let's dive right in. Patrick from Dallas. First, before we dive in, I want to give a shout out to our buddy Brad McKay. Brad has been struggling with affiliate marketing for quite some time. Brad went through and took the plunge, got a high ticket niche, and he posted that he finally made his first web hosting affiliate sale on his website from Marcus Campbell, the affiliate marketing dude. He says it's been a long road, but he finally learned how to do it, and his team, my team, created a good high-ticket niche for him. So awesome. Congrats on that. Uh, we love when you guys post your results because oftentimes I don't hear them till later. Uh, so make sure that you join our Facebook group, and you can get questions answered, post your results, everything like that. Now, if the sound is low, just turn your sound up. It's just something with our microphone. Don't know how to really fix it but we do try our best. Now, you're gonna see here, first and foremost, a screenshot. This is a very recent screenshot from a promo I did um, where we made 177 signups in 19 days, which is crazy, right? I mean, really awesome. And we've got a lot of people saying congrats to Brad. Um, Brad will like that, he's a good guy. Um, we had 177 signups, 70 rebills, only three reversals, and a killing of $20,000 in commissions in just 19 days off of a promotion. I didn't even really plan to promote, didn't really hit that hard, but worked really good, and we still get residual commissions from it to this day, which is great, right? Really cool. So we want to show you recent stuff, show you what's working. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to cover a lot of stuff. I will have these notes available. If you do want notes from this training, go to downloadmynotes.com, put your name and email in the box, and as the notes become available for the various videos, you will get an email with the notes. Pretty cool, right? So, awesome stuff. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to you about how to pick the right offer. We're gonna talk to you about some offers that really, really work. We're gonna talk to you about offers that don't work so, so well. We're gonna talk to you about CPA networks, and we got a lot of stuff to cover. So if you're ready, Type, show me the money in the box, and we're going to show you the money. All right, cool. Got my coffee here. Hopefully our lighting's good. Trying a little different lighting, which kind of blinds me because I got a light right here in my face, but it's all right. It accentuates my double chin. All right, let's dive right in. Now, this was a promotion for a software as a service. Software as a service is a great affiliate model to go after works extremely well um, so definitely want to have that in your arsenal of things as well now first of all let's go into part one let's talk about how to find the right offer because here's the thing i can give you a list of the top offers and you'll probably look at it and be like yay that's good but what the hell do i do with it so instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to teach you how to find the right offer because not all offers are equal for example if you were to promote this offer up here to the wrong group of people, you wouldn't have made anything. Now, I was able to make about $10 a click on that promotion, but the only reason that worked is because it matched my traffic. So in part one, we wanna talk about what does your traffic want? What is the nature of your market? If you have a blog, you gotta look at it and say, okay, well, what's my blog about? What are people clicking on? If you're getting traffic from paid traffic, you have to say, hey, what's going on here? Now, Joe says, what was your um, revenue after paid traffic? This one, I think I only spent about $500 in paid traffic on. Maybe $700. I don't know. I didn't check, but I know it was less than $1,000. Um, and most of my sales came from a different traffic source. So very, very cool. I probably made like three grand off the paid traffic, which meant I like quadrupled my money. Um, and then off the other stuff I made on others. So we got to look at this. We got to say, what does our traffic want? Okay. 
So if you have a blog, if you have a keyword, if you have something where you're like, okay, these people are into weight loss or these people are into uh, looking up forms for taxes or they're into uh, budgets or they're into spreadsheets or they're into smiley faces or whatever, we got to look at that and say, well, what do they want and what do they click on? The most biggest indicator of looking at how you're going to make money is what your market is already clicking on. This is extremely important. So you want to go through, find other sites in your market and look at the banner ads that are out there. Look at the ads that people are running. Look at the things that get attention and the things that get the clicks. It's extremely important to do this. If you don't, it doesn't matter what offer you run, you're not going to make any money. Okay. That's very important. So what do they click on? B. What is their ultimate goal? Now, if you have the, the site and your site is about like spreadsheets for budgeting, you wanna look at their ultimate goal, right? What's, what's their ultimate goal? If you had a site that provided budget spreadsheets, I want everyone to type your answer in the box. What do you think the goal would be? Okay, they got budget spreadsheets. What's their goal? All right, we'll give you guys a minute to type in your answers there. Okay. Yes, Andrew, I do not have my unicorn float yet. Um, I will be getting a picture with the Pegasus. I think it's Pegasus, not a unicorn or, unicor or pe Pegasus thing. Okay, so Jeff says re reduce budget cost. Okay, Kevin says finance. Okay, what else? Come on, keep your answers coming. What would people want if, their ultimate, if they were looking at a site about spreadsheets for budgeting? Okay. Get on track financially. Okay, good. These are close. Manage their money. Okay, good. Home business or budget. A little far-fetched, but it could be okay. Get debt-free. Okay, that's a little bit closer. Solution to a problem. Okay, what they're looking for is more money. They want more money. They want to go through their budget, and they want to find more money, and their goal is like, I want an extra $500 a month or $1,000 a month. That's their ultimate goal. Okay, so we got to keep that in mind because that's going to drive our offers. Right, we're gonna look at that and we're gonna say, okay, well, if their ultimate goal is more money in their pocket, then I can promote anything that puts more money in their pocket within reason, right? Like we, we wanna keep it in the genre of, um, of budgeting. Like we don't wanna go out there and be like, hey, start a cat washing business or something. That's, that's not what we're looking at. Now, Joe says, that's pretty obvious. Yes, the things that I do, and Jeff says the simple answer, yes. You want the basic, simple answer. What do these people want? If they're looking for, um, you know, food that causes weight loss, well, then, you know, their goal is to lose weight. If they're looking for um, how do you fit in a bathing suit, well, then we know they want to fit in the bathing suit. Very simple, okay? If they're looking for hardship letters for mortgage, you know they want to save their house or, or get a, a mortgage modification or something like that, okay? So we've got to look at the ultimate goal of what our visitors are. Now, when you're doing this, you can look at goals on your site and you can look at goals on other sites, okay? A lot of people think that banner ads and advertising on other sites is dead and those people don't know what they're talking about because I buy banners all the time. I make a fortune on banners. Banners are still huge. Banners surpassed newspaper advertising. Uh, online advertising is, has, has surpassed TV advertising. So, I mean, this stuff ain't going anywhere. So we got to look at it and say, if you think banner ads are dead, if you think paid ads are dead, if you think solo ads are dead, you don't know how to market, right? It's not that they're dead. You just don't know how to market. You need to learn to market. Okay, so first, what do they click on? Second, what is their ultimate goal? Third, or C, what things are they buying? What other stuff are they buying? Like, if you got these guys looking at these budget spreadsheets, are they buying um, tax software? Are they buying Microsoft Excel? Are they buying templates? Are they buying calculators? What other stuff are they buying? Very important. And then D, what can we flip them into? A lot of you guys have heard me talk about flipping the market. What does this mean? What does it mean to flip the market? Well, what I mean is taking something gener or something specific. Okay, you want to take something specific like, how do I get a hardship letter for my mortgage? Okay, that's specific. They're not looking to buy a hardship letter, obviously, because they're like in a hardship, which means they probably don't want to spend a lot of money. However, they could be interested in things that you know will help them. 
Maybe there's a foreclosure avoidance program. Maybe there's some kind of government refi loan that helps them. Maybe there's some kind of stay in your house program, right? These kind of things are very important because if you can flip the market, you can make money. For example, someone looking to calculate the payments of a car loan would probably be interested in looking at car loans, interested in looking at getting the best deal on a car, interested in getting the best amount for their trade-in, interested in getting other things that are going to help them, maybe insurance. Okay, so we got to look at it. We got to say we want to take them from the specific and flip them into the stuff that pays us. This will make or break you no matter what affiliate offer you're using because this is the crux that everything hinges on. Right, this is like the door hinge, and if the hinge isn't there, the door's not gonna work, and we gotta have the hinge, which is really, really important. And as Bruce says, yes, it needs to be related to their ultimate goal. So we wanna flip them into their ultimate goal. Like, they're there, they're browsing spreadsheets and stuff, but we know that they have other things on their mind. We know we can get them a 0% credit card with balance transfer so they could lower their interest payments. I mean, pretty simple, pretty basic. I wish I sounded a lot smarter than I am, but really, my, my strength is in keeping things very simple, keeping things very, very, very specific. Okay? Very cool. So, one, what do they click on? Two, what is their ultimate goal? Three, what other things are they buying? And D, what can we flip them into? There's a myth floating around online that you need to have buyer keywords, that if someone is not typing in, apply for mortgage, they don't want a mortgage. That is absolute hogwash. And I did this on a video, which we're actually going to update. I did a video uh, five years ago, four years ago, something like that, uh, where I went through the day that I, I got out of rehab. And I, the day after I got out of rehab, I went on my computer and I wanted to look at my search history, right? So I pulled open my search history with the question, could you have predicted that I would have been an alcoholic? Okay, think about that. How many of you guys, like you're thinking about that and you're like, wait a minute. Are you telling me that based on what people search, you can predict what they're going to need, what's going to happen, what they're going to feel, right? It's called predictive marketing. You can actually learn what's going to happen. You can actually anticipate the idea of anticipatory marketing, anticipating what they're going to want. Because if, if someone knew I needed to go to rehab before I knew I needed to go to rehab, they would have made a lot of money. Now, I'm happy to say that in five days i will be five years sober which is cool so the rehab did work among other things um but we got to look at that we got to focus we got to look at that and say can i predict what people are doing can i predict what they're going to want very very important you can almost predict that a hardship letter guy a certain percentage of those are going to end up foreclosing like it's like clockwork right very 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 important okay part two Part two is to select an offer based on your market's needs. All right, uh, Javier says he's talking about alcohol, almost six months sober. Awesome, congrats. Uh, if anyone is interested in learning about how to stay sober, we do have a YouTube channel at youtube.com slash talk sober. Uh, you can go there, you can learn all about sobriety and, and things like that. I am turning it into a business, but right now I'm not super profitable. We make a little bit, um, but the reason is is because I I'm, that's like my baby market. I don't want to promote anything that could harm those people or could do anything weird. So we got to really look at that, right? Um, so talk sober is is where you'd want to find that. So part two, select an offer based on your market's needs. Now this is important because we're going to look at three different types of offers. One is what I call a direct hit. Two is eh, pretty damn close, and three is hey, this is going to take some work. Okay, these are the different types of offers we want to look at. So if we're going into a market, okay, and let's say our market is people who want, let's say, people who want to improve their credit. Okay, so we're going to get our market here. And our market is people, where's our text? There it is. Okay, market equals people who want to improve credit, okay? Very important, people who wanna improve credit. Okay, that's your goal, that's your people. They're looking for like, you know, remove this from credit report, remove that, whatever. So we gotta look at that, 
and we got to focus. Okay, people who want to improve their credit. So now we got to look at this and say, what would be a direct hit offer? Well, a direct hit offer is something with no barrier of entry, something that's exactly what the person wants. Like, if I could give these guys a magic potion that made their credit improve and it was free to them and I got paid $100, that would be a direct hit. Right now, that doesn't exist. So what we got to do is we got to go to a place like Offer Vault, and we got to search for stuff. Okay, so we're going to search for um, improve credit. Okay, let's see if there's a direct hit. Now, improve credit has the matches. Okay, let's see improve credit. Let's do credit score, credit repair. Aha, that's the word. Credit repair. Sometimes it takes a little bit of working. Right, so we got credit repair here, like this. And we got like the credit people, we got credit score and more, we got credit repair CPA. So here's a credit repair CPA. Uh, we got $100 per lead, okay, so they don't have to buy anything. They just fill out some forms and we get paid. Okay, so that would be a direct hit. That's like, boom, that's what they want, that's what they get. Now, because it's $100, it's gonna be it's going to be probably a big form. Okay, so we got to look at that. And let's see if there's an example of one here. Uh, credit repair, paper call. Okay, credit repair, smart money. Let's see what this one is. Okay, so it's got like a video. Now, it does charge them. Okay, so that they have to buy it. So that would be, that wouldn't be a direct hit. Um, let's see, free credit score. Let's see some of these others. Your credit score and more. Okay, let's see if that converts good. Trial membership, so they have to do a credit card. We want something that's like a lead, maybe like a paper call. Okay, so this is a paper call kind of deal where you get $15 for like a 30 second call or something like that. So that would be a pretty direct hit, but there are barriers of entry, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So what we're gonna look at is we'll be like, okay, a direct hit in this example would be credit repair CPA. Now, off the beaten path, this is one that's like, okay, it, it'll convert, but it's a little bit off the beaten path. This would be like someone looking up um, hardship letters and then getting them into refi. Okay, that, that's going to take a little bit of work. It's like if I could offer them a toolbar that gives them free credit or free uh, hardship letters, that would be good. Okay, but that doesn't exist. So instead, we're going to be like, okay, well, what's an off the beaten path for credit repair? Well, maybe we could go for like those free credit score ones. I mean, those are good. They're free, but it's not exactly what they're looking at, right? So we'd have to be like, oh, hey, you know, first thing to do, check your credit. Okay, so we would go for that. We'd be like, okay, um, free credit, free credit score 360, pays $40, converts on a trial. Okay, a little, that's okay. Let's see what else there is. One dollar trial. Certified debt help. What's this? This could work. Okay, this, this could be a direct hit. Pays on a first page submit. So it's going to go through and it'll pay on the first page submit. This, this would be definitely a direct hit. We'll put this in here too. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to categorize these as you go through and be like, what are my direct hits? What are my off the beaten paths? Okay, off the beaten path is gonna be like free credit report 360. Okay, pretty good. Now, what you're gonna notice is the farther you get away, the less you're gonna make per click and the less clicks you're gonna get. Okay, because obviously if I'm like, hey guys, welcome, you wanna improve your credit? Get this PDF. Everyone's gonna click on the PDF, great might not pay as much or it might be free so we got to look at that now if i'm like hey guys you know the first thing to do when improving your credit is check your credit okay that's that's going to get a little less clicks but it'll be okay now gonna take some work is going to be like maybe you have something like um let's say a credit card credit card okay maybe you got like a credit card offer and you're like, okay, oh, well, we, we're going to get a whole bunch of junk here. Let's see. Credit card debt consolidation, debt relief, credit cards. 
see what we got for credit cards. Um, or you could go to credit.com and use credit cards. So let's say you do a credit card, which is going to be kind of like your off the beaten path offer, or, or you're going to take some work offer, and it's credit cards. Now, does that make sense to everyone? Type off the beaten path if that makes sense. Right? So you, you want to get as close to a direct hit as possible. And I'll get you another market so you can see. Um, like, let's say we're in the astrology market. Okay? So we're like astrology. Okay? And we got these people looking up astrology stuff. Okay? Now, a direct hit would be something free, would be something with low barrier of entry, which would be something that gives them exactly what they want. Okay? So let's say we're doing this for the astrology market, just to give you guys another example okay so market people looking up signs okay like signs uh, you know scorpios and and those kind of things um horoscopes okay so market is people looking up signs now a direct hit offer in this market is going to be something like let's see if it's in here i know there's like an astrology toolbar somewhere Where did it go? Let's do this. Browser. And when using browser extensions, make sure that you test them and make sure they're up to snuff. Uh, most of them are because they're Chrome extensions, which are pretty safe. Uh, but you just want to do your due diligence anyway. Okay, here we go. So Anytime Astrology. Now, this Anytime Astrology offer pays $2, and all they have to do is download the Astrology Toolbar. Okay, so this would be a direct on the frickin' nose hit. Like so much that I probably wouldn't promote anything else. Like I, I might promote some other stuff, but like this thing's gonna, it's gonna do the job we want. Okay, so that would be a super on the nose direct hit. Okay, now this one, it's not gonna, it doesn't pay a whole lot. It's like $2 a lead which is okay because, I mean, I've made millions of dollars getting $2 or less a lead. Um, so we got to look at that and be like, okay, well, if I convert, you know, one out of every eight to 10 people, that means I'm going to make, you know, 20 cents a click. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Now, off the beaten path in this market is going to be other stuff related to astrology. So maybe we'll have like astrology and maybe there's like some kind of horoscope thing or or astrology match okay this is like a dating site so the astrology match this would be a gonna take some work right it, it could work but it's gonna take some work okay so while you're making 20 cents a click over here you're probably gonna be met doing less with astrology match okay so we gotta look at that be like okay we gotta kind of weigh these things now off the beaten path with this one is gonna be something like perhaps let's see astrology guide let's see what this is submit their email address to get their free horoscope okay so so it's like an email submit um that would probably be closer to a direct hit than um than an off the beaten path off the beaten path is going to be let's see something like a call-in thing or something like that So like this Angela lady probably has like, you know, call me and get your horoscope or something or maybe an email submit. OK, so that one or Maria, there's Maria, the psychic or whatever, yeah, like Angel Equinox kind of thing. So this is going to be a, a going to take some work, right? You're going to have to do some selling. So the farther you get down the line, the more selling you're going to have to do. Like if I have an all uh, anytime astrology browser extension, I'm just like, hey, dude, get the get the extension. If I have to get them to do astrology match, I should be like, hey, you need to find the right person for you. It's going to take a little bit more work. OK, so very important to look at. We got to we got to focus on that. All right. So when we're looking at these offers, we want to pay close attention because we're going to have one. What does our traffic want Two, how do we select an offer based on their needs? OK, the direct hit is going to be direct in line with their needs. OK, boom. There you go. Very important. Pretty damn close. It's going to be like, hey, yeah. I could probably make that work and then going to take some work. If all you have is a going to take some work offer, then you better make sure you know how to sell because if you don't, then it's going to be really, really an uphill battle. All right. So it's easy to focus on direct hits at the end of this call. I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you some offers um, that work really good and some offers that'll work. Uh, even some going to take some work offers that'll convert really well um, because it's very important. 
Okay, part three, and I know we're going quick. I want to get through this so that you guys understand how it all works. Part three, look at the offer payout. Okay, this is important. So like looking at this, you want to look at the payout and you want to look at what it does. Okay, so if I'm over here and I'm like, okay, on the astrology toolbar, where'd it go? Let's go back here. On the astrology toolbar, I'm getting $2 a lead. Is that good? Like, how do you even know if that's good or bad? Well, we got to look at it and say, well, what's the barrier of entry? Like, how many of these people can I get to convert? All right, so if I'm doing like a long form mortgage application and I get $100 a lead, I'm not going to get one out of 10 to fill that thing out. It's just not going to happen, right? It's not going to happen, right? So we got to look at that, okay? Um, and we got to focus. Now, lead website doesn't think this is live, but not that it even matters, but okay. Um, but you look at that and you're like, okay, if I get a hundred dollars, I, I might not convert everyone. So you want to look at what's called the EPC, which is the earnings per click. Okay. So we're going to put that up here and we're gonna put EPC equals earnings per click. Okay. So we got to do earnings per click like this. What are you making per click now on an astrology browser? I'm probably going to average 10 to 20 cents per click. What I earn on the offer, which is good. Okay. On something like mortgage, I'm probably going to earn more, but it's going to it's going to um, take a lot more clicks to get that. Does that make sense to everyone? Like, obviously, if I convert one out of a hundred on the mortgage one, I'm getting a dollar a click. If I convert one out of a hundred on the astrology, I'm getting two cents a click. Now, the astrology one's going to convert a lot better than that, but you have to look at it in terms of the market. Mortgage market's a lot harder to get into. So obviously you need a higher EPC because it's going to cost a lot more. Astrology, that traffic is freaking cheap. You could buy it all day long. Jeff says figuring out the EPC is tough. No, it's not. You run an ad and you see what it is. Now, some affiliate networks will actually show you the EPCs, right? Like this one. Let's bring this up. Uh, let's see. Object, bring to front. Um, they'll actually show you. So here's a screenshot of some of these that actually shows you what's going on. Um, and they'll have what's called a network EPC. This is like the average of all the people on the network running this offer. They're averaging $1.40 per click. Okay, so that's like the average. So you can see that. Now, again, remember, this doesn't take into account, like, their traffic. Okay, so this could be a guy who doesn't know what he's doing running this on crap traffic. And it could be a guy who knows everything about it that's running good traffic. So you don't really know, but you can kind of get a gamut of like, how are people doing? Okay, so you want to look at that as well, okay? So um, look at your earnings per click. Now, when we go through, we also want to look at it and say, um, what, will make, what will it make you per click? Okay, what are you going to make per click? Plain and simple. B, what has to happen for me to get paid? Now, this is important. What has to happen? So on this, all they got to do is download it. That's it. They click download. They install the toolbar. I get two bucks. Yay. Easy. Okay. Now on something like uh, refinance, okay, it might be like a three page submit, right? So like lend key student loan refinancer, this one is probably going to convert on like a big long ass form. Okay. So it's going to take a lot or maybe there's something like, um, let's do Norton. Okay, Norton Antivirus. For Norton Antivirus, these guys actually got to sign up and buy the stuff. Okay, so they got to get their credit card out. They got to buy the thing. But I get 45 bucks, and it's a known brand. Okay, and I'm dropping little hints along the way. Are you guys getting the hints? Type hints if you're getting the hints. Right, and we'll try to recap them at the end as well. And Jeff, keep those kind of questions till the end. I don't mind answering them, but my brain is very one track. So I don't want to get confused with too many questions. So we will answer. We'll have a Q&A at the end. Okay. All right. So Norton, they're going to get, they're going to have to buy stuff. So you got to look at like what has to happen for me to get paid. Okay. And then also, are there any reversals, refunds, or clawbacks? So like if I'm promoting something like ClickFunnels, okay, ClickFunnels is something that pays 38 bucks per month, per user, and that has a free trial. Now, we don't get paid anything on the free trial. 
That kind of sucks. I don't like that. Um, we do get paid on their monthly subscription, but there are reversals, refunds, and clawbacks. So, like, if someone orders and then they refund, I, I don't get paid. Okay, these are things you want to know because, like, if my butt's on the line paying for traffic, I need to know, like, is this thing going to get a lot of refunds? Is it going to work? Is it going to have this? Is it going to have that? Is it going to take a lot of people to sell? What's going on? Okay, so we want to look at this. Now, this is all going to tie in at the end when I show you the top offers because you're going to see my list of top offers has a lot of the things that we want. Okay, very important. Okay, so one, what does your traffic want? Two, selecting an offer based on your market's needs. Look at the direct hit, pretty damn close, going to take some work. Part three, look at the offer payout. How much am I going to make per click? What has to happen for me to get paid? The lower this is, the better you're going to do. Okay, the lower the barrier of entry, the better you're going to do. If all I have to do is get someone to put their email in, hey, I could do that all day. That's easy, right? I could probably get 50% of the people to put their email in a box. Cool. If I got to get name, email, and zip code, maybe I can only get 30%. Name, email, zip code, and phone number, Maybe I'm looking at 10%. If I got to get them to whip out a credit card and buy something, maybe 1% to 3%, maybe 10 if it's a free trial offer. But again, is this making sense to everyone? I hope you guys are getting some aha moments and understanding like what's going on here so that you guys can, can use this and go through and be like, okay, what offers are going to work for me? Right, scale of 1 to 100, how are we doing? 100 means you're right there with me. 1 means what the hell's an affiliate, right? <laughs> Okay, 1 to 100. Are people protective of their email contact? Not if they're getting something that's valuable. Cool. Most people are in the 90s. Good. Awesome. Okay, part four. This is one people miss. I am a stickler for a landing page. I am obsessed with the landing page. If the landing page doesn't convert... If I don't think the landing page isn't gonna, is going to convert, I don't care about the payout. I don't care about how many people are making money with it. I care about, is, a, is it going to convert? So we got to look at the landing page and say, is it going to convert? So we got to look at something like the astrology toolbar. And I got to say, okay, I got generic astrology people. They're going to go to this page. Like some guy looking up Scorpio. Is he going to download this? What do the stars have in store for you? Download. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I'm going to get it a 7 because it's got a big continue button. Other than that, I'd rather see it say, um, download the astrology toolbar and find out what the stars have in store for you or find out what your compatibility is or, or whatever. Does that make sense to everyone? Type in landing page if you get that. Um, some of the other things I look at on landing page first is will it convert with my traffic? doesn't matter how good it does for other people because your traffic's different. Will it convert for your traffic? That's most important. B, how many steps to get to the CPA or how many steps to get me paid? When am I going to get paid? Well, this one, download, I'm paid. Okay, something else, put in an email. Choose this. Put in a credit card. That's a lot of steps to get paid. Okay, so we want as few steps as possible. C, very important. When you're doing ClickBank and you're doing some offer networks, you got to be careful because sometimes I'll go through and I'll look at it and I'll be like, are there distractions? Like, are there other ads on the site that I don't get paid for? Then screw it. I'm not going to promote. I'm not going to give you my traffic so you can make money with your other ads. Bullshit, Right. Um, is there a phone number for them to call? Like if it's an order thing and it's like call now to order and I don't get paid when they call, screw that, right? You're just jacking me out of my commission. I don't want that. I got to have something that's going to work. I want a one track thing, right? Like if this guy with the astrology thing was like, uh, click here to use our search engine to see if you're compatible. I'm going to be like, no, I got to promote that. I want something straight up, something that's going to get me paid, something that's direct, Okay. Um, so look for distractions. D, does the page collect leads before I get paid? This is a big one, right? Are they scraping leads before I get paid? Like if I go to a page and I'm paid on a sale and they're collecting emails before the sale, that could be bad. I don't want to build your list for free. 
the hell would I want to do that for? So we got to look at that. Now, if they pay me to give them leads, then sure, of course. But if there's things that I'm not getting paid on, I ain't going to promote your stuff. I don't care how good it is. E, does the landing page fit something my market wants? Right? Does it have a hot button? Okay, so uh, lead website says, um, is there a way you can look at my site live? Yes, on Tuesdays for my members, you can bring your site on Tuesdays and we review them live in a private setting. We don't do them here because I don't know what's on your site. So like, I don't want to just like share it with the world, not knowing what it's about. And also I think you should pay for my advice on your specific site. Um, if you do want to join our Tuesday calls, go to marcusmentor.me. You can sign up, you can go Tuesday, you can ask whatever the hell you want. You can bring up your sites. It's less than the price of a cup of coffee a day. Like no brainer. Okay. If you're not willing to do that, then I'm not willing to look at your site. Fair enough. Cool. Part five, direct offers and offer networks and CPA networks. Now, what are these? Okay. Now, um, let's take a look at these. So we got going direct, we got major affiliate networks, and we got CPA networks. What's the difference? Okay, well, let's take a look. So going direct, going direct. On hosting offers, oftentimes I'll go direct. Now, direct offers would be like um, click funnels. Okay. A direct offer would be like web hosting. Okay, like if you're going to promote Tony Robbins or something, you'd promote his stuff through his direct offer. Um, anytime you go to Google and you're like, whatever, whatever affiliate program, that would be direct. Okay, now sometimes you're going to go for um, offer networks. Okay, offer networks are like Commission Junction. Link share, ClickBank, JVZoo. Okay, these are all offer networks that have lots of offers. Most of them have offers that are, are, are put by separate people. Okay, so like if I go to Link Share and I'm like, I want to put my offer on there, it's actually me running it on Link Share, and then Link Share shares the profit with you. Okay. That's how it works. Now, CPA affiliate offers, CPA, is cost per action. These are things like Max Bounty. We got uh, Peerfly. We got, what else? I think I got a list here. Uh, Global Wide, Aragon, um, several different ones. So we got to look at that, right? Now, what are the difference? Well, the difference is is ClickBank is primarily going to focus on, like, you have to buy something to get paid. Commission Junction, sometimes they have CPA stuff, but they're not a CPA network. JVZoo, nine times out of ten, you got, you got to get someone to buy something. Um, these are direct, nine times out of ten, probably ten times out of ten. When going direct, um, you are going to have to sell something. Max Bounty and Peerfly and all the other ones, these CPA networks, are actually going to have, like, paper lead, paper call, paper download, um, different things like that. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Type CPA in the box if that makes sense. All right, and I'll wait for a bunch of CPAs to pop up. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Now, do you guys get parts one through five? Are there any questions on parts one through five? Okay, we'll take some questions on parts one through five, and then we'll get into my favorite offers, and we'll talk about how to use the offers. Okay. All right, cool. So let's dive into my favorite types of offers. Okay, what are my favorite types of offers? Very important. We're gonna do Q&A at the end, and then, so keep your q and I'll try to scroll up, uh, copy it, and, and paste it at the end. So, my favorite types of offers. These are the ones I love. Browser extensions, you guys all know those are my favorite because hey, they work in like any market with any junk traffic, and boom, you can make a ton of money with them, okay? You got stuff like Maps Browsers, uh, Local News. Again, make sure that they're legit. Download them yourself. Make sure they're good, 
okay? Some browser extensions, some networks have ones that are shady. You want to watch out for those. You want to make sure that these are good ones. You can actually go to the Google Chrome store and look them up and see if people are complaining about them or if they like them. If they complain about them, you know, don't promote them. If they're bad, don't promote them. Make sure they're good. I actually have a computer here where I download all these and I test them myself uh, before I do that, okay? So these are one of my top favorite ones, like a browser converter. This helps them convert files. Pretty cool, convert doc to PDF. Easy, right? These are easy to promote if you're new. Like these are simple, right? Super simple, coupon explorer, baby names. Like these are markets you could get into at the drop of a hat. You can get traffic really, really quickly, okay? So that is one of my all time favorite uh, markets. Probably, I think that's probably my highest earning affiliate program, okay? Browser extensions and toolbars and things like that. Again, low barrier of entry. We don't have to do anything, don't need any email. They just click add to browser and I get paid, which is cool. Okay, uh, Sandy, if you, want new, uh, newts, if you want notes from this, go to downloadmynotes.com. We'll email them out to you when they're ready. All right, my second favorite type of offer is as seen on TV. Why do I like as seen on TV? Can anyone guess? why I like as seen on TV offers. Okay, maybe we'll give a prize. We'll give an affiliate marketing dude shirt to the winner who gets this. Why do I like as seen on TV? And I want you guys to put your thinking hats on and, and think about why I would like that. Doug says brand awareness, no. Lots of exp exposure and free promo, no. Credibility, no. Familiar to the market, no. People recognize it, no. Hypothesis, not really. Brand everyone knows already, nope. Those are not it. On TV free advertising, nope. Nope, not free advertising. It's already advertised on TV, nope. Guarantees, nope, because it's already on TV, nope. All right, the reason I like as seen on TV is because the bros know how to sell. They know how to sell, right? So like if you have someone out there spending a lot of money to put an as seen on TV product, you know that the thing's gonna sell to a broad audience and you know they did the work to sell. Like those commercials are freaking great. You watch a commercial and you don't have anything that leaks and you're buying Flex Seal. Why? Because the guy's like, hey, look at me, I'm on a boat in the ocean. And it has nothing but a screen door and flex seal. And you're like, damn, I need this product, right? So they are masters at sales. They are masters at sales, right? I know the landing page is going to convert. So we got to look at that, okay? Will it convert? Hell yeah, it's going to convert. That stuff works. How many of you guys have bought an as-seen-on-TV product in your life? Type in as-seen-on-TV if you have. Okay. Sham out or type in the thing you've bought. All right? People have bought it. A lot of people here have bought as seen on TV. I buy this stuff all the time. So here you got an audience of a couple hundred people. And I guarantee by the time we're done, if everyone's honest, probably half of them have bought an as seen on TV product. Right? So think about that. Like I got a broad list of people who aren't really interested in that. And yet most of you guys have bought that stuff, right? So that's why I like as seen on TV. And I like as seen on TV because they're, they're after generating leads. So what will happen? Like the guy who said, I bought the fishing rod. Okay. I used to promote the fishing rod and I promoted it because the landing page kicked ass and it was like $20 or $9.99 for the user. And I got paid like $18 to sell it. So think about that. You go to ClickBank and you're like, yeah, this product's 30 bucks. I get $12. And I'm like, this thing sells. This thing has a killer landing page. And I get more than the person pays? Hell yeah. Right? Hell yeah, I'm going to promote that. Um, you can find all kinds of ads seen on TV things. I know there's like a, a pillow kind of offer. Sometimes they're a little tough to find, but like this. Um, sleep pillow, Right? Sleep gram pillow, 40 bucks per sale. And oftentimes it's probably gonna be um, 
Yeah, so it's $37 for a pillow or $40 for a pillow, and I get 40 bucks. Like, how many of you guys are like, dude, I, I get all of it? Hell yeah, right? I mean, like, of course I'm going to promote something like that, right? How many of you guys got a little aha moment there, and you're like, wait a minute, Marcus, you can promote something where you get most of the money or all of it or more? Right? Yeah, as seen on TV kicks ass. Um, I think there's an as seen on TV CPA network that's still around. I know they were years ago. Um, I don't know if they still are, but it's really cool, right? Those things kick ass. So browser extensions, as seen on TV. Fiverr is also really good. Fiverr has a great affiliate program. Um, they pay on a bid, I think. So someone pays five bucks and I get like a hundred or more, depending on what I sell. Awesome. I've made a lot of money with As Seen on TV browser. I've made some money with Fiverr. I, I just haven't promoted it as much as I should yet. Um, pure laziness, but it is a good one. Okay. Uh, D, loans and credit cards. Loans and credit cards are always going to be good. Credit cards, you get paid like $100 for an application. Um, I have a buddy who we're going to bring on the channel uh, for an interview. All this guy does is, is tell you how he travels the world for like dirt cheap using credit cards. And he makes like five to fifteen thousand dollars a month as a credit card affiliate when i did my gas prices website we made a fortune with credit cards as an affiliate um very simple very easy those always work software as a service is also good okay now software as a service i'm not going to promote direct i want to build a mailing list okay so i want a mailing list before i promote stuff like that these as seen on tv and fiverr i would probably do a mailing list um browser extensions probably not because it's it's just let's just make the money and, and call it a day kind of deal. Um, software as a service would be like click funnels or web hosting or something. Uh, F is web hosting. G is financial and investing. Uh, these are really good. Like I like I love the stuff from Motley Fool. Motley Fool. Um, he's a tax guy. And this dude knows how to freaking write ads. This guy's ad dude kicks ass. And, and this stuff converts like crazy. It's like a stock advisory. Um, and if you look at their various landing pages, it's freaking awesome, right? Now, again, follow the rules, okay? No direct linking, which I never teach you to direct link. You should never direct link. Just don't do it. Um, and also don't use trademark, okay? So like if you're doing this, you don't want to use his trademark, obviously. Like seriously, don't do it. Um, why? Because he doesn't want you to advertise to customers he has already. Like, I get people all the time, they're like, Marcus, I want to promote your products as a review site. And I'm like, well, that's not really providing new customers. Like, that's just churning other stuff, right? We don't really want to do that. ClickFunnels has turned into a lot of that, um, which is like, are you really providing value to the company? Probably not. Okay, so you got to provide the value. Very important. Okay, so financing and investing. H, free credit score. People make a fortune with free credit score offers. People make a fortune with, like, this stuff that I'm giving you here, people make seven figures in all of these. Like, all of these here, there are people making seven figures. Hands down. That's what they're doing. Okay? Free credit score is a big one. Email and zip submit offers, these are good. Like, if you go here and you do email submit. Okay? Again, make sure it's legitimate because there's a lot of crap out there. So make sure it's absolutely legitimate. So like get cash from home or whatever. Um, this guy's going to pay you $1.50 when someone puts an email in a box, right? So you don't have to get a, a, a sign up. You don't need to get them to credit card. They just put their email in a box and you get paid. Right? Really cool. How many of you guys are like, dude, all I have to do is get people to their email in a box. Like seriously, that's it. Um, and you can see there's tons of them here. If you go back to like the dollar, three dollar range, like here's one a gift card kind of deal. Um, you got uh, gift cards, pixels, targets, um, all kinds of stuff. And these will pay you on um, just the email submit, which is pretty cool. Okay. So really good. Uh, Jay says, uh, please refresh my memory on direct linking. Direct linking is affiliate marketing without a website. No landing page, no website. You're just sending them to a link. Um, I don't do that. I don't advise you to do that. Um, some people have made a lot of money doing that, but it's kind of old, it's outdated, and you're not going to make as much as you could, okay? That's like the lazy, I don't want to do anything, I'll probably lose money the first time kind of deal. Okay, diets, diets are never going out of style, they always make money. Dating, always going to make money. 
and high paying trials. Okay, high paying trials are good where maybe I'll get $100 when someone tries out web hosting or tries out a product. Um, sometimes this will overlap with as seen on TV as well, which is cool, right? Um, how many signups could you get a day with email submits? Uh, I think our best day was like 2,200. So you can get a lot, which is cool. What traffic source would I re recommend for zip submits? Whatever traffic they're interested in. Like if it's, if it's a um, guide on fishing, then I would get fishing traffic. If it's a guide on like, uh, you know, discounts, I'd use discount or coupon traffic. Okay. Now, that's part six. Part seven is supplemental offers. Okay. Now I have what we call primary offers and supplemental offers. A primary offer is the one that I plan on making the most with, right? So like if I'm going out there and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do as seen on TV and I'm going to promote the pillow. Yay. Good. That's my primary offer. That's my focus. That's it. Like I know when I build a site, I'm going to make most of the money on the pillow. That's what I'm going to do. That's why I'm making the site or I'm going to make the most on hosting. Now, a supplemental offer is something you have to go through and you have to look at and say, okay, well, what am I going to use to supplement for the people who don't buy that other stuff? Well, you could use like Amazon. Okay. Amazon's a great for supplemental. AdSense is great for supplemental. And then big stores like, uh, you know, Best Buy, stuff like that. Okay. So. Any questions on what we went over so far, and then we'll get into which program is right for you, how to get started with the affiliate marketing dude, if you want me to be your mentor and coach, which I think you do because no one else teaches the stuff I teach in the way that I teach it. I think you've probably found that by now. And if you like my free stuff, imagine what the good stuff is. Mario says you say traffic like it's no big deal. Traffic is no big deal. Like traffic's not the problem, it's conversion. Right, because like, you can get traffic anywhere. You could go and buy an ad on the Yahoo homepage right now, and you can get traffic. Well, Marcus, it's hard to do and it's expensive. No, it's not. It's only expensive if you don't know how to convert it. Traffic's easy. You can go make YouTube videos and get traffic. You can go to Facebook groups and get like traffic is not your problem. That's a myth. If you think traffic's your problem, then you got your head in the sand. You're not paying attention, right? Traffic's easy. It's everywhere. It's like literally everywhere. There's a billion people on the internet every day and you can't get traffic. No, 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 no. You can't convert it and you're not willing to spend because you can't convert it because you're not learning the things that I teach you. Got to learn it, right? This is, I just taught you how to convert. Now you can go get whatever traffic you want, right? Everyone get that? All right, let's do 15 minutes of Q&A and then we'll talk to you about what program's best for you to get started, which by the way, the best program to start hands down is our high ticket niche program because I actually go through and I tell you how to get traffic. I tell you what offers to run. I buy your high ticket domain name, which some of them are worth like a lot. You guys can see the uh, estimated values of the domains in the little ticker below. Those are actual domains my students got as part of the high ticket niche thing, uh, which is really cool, which is why we blocked out part of it so you don't know their actual domain. Um, but that's always the best way to start, uh, which by the way, if you're thinking about getting a high ticket niche, do it now. Uh, we are raising the price so that it can still include simple sites. But if you get it now, you're going to get simple sites also, which is cool. Okay. Really cool. Okay. And you could see Brad McKay. We gave him a shout out earlier. Uh, he got his first sale from his high ticket niche just a couple days ago. And he was ecstatic about it because he'd been struggling for years with affiliate marketing and his first sale, I think it was like. 80 bucks or something, whatever his host pays, which is cool. All right, so let's take some questions here. You build product sites instead of a niche. No, I build niche sites instead of product sites. I never build a product site because you're always stuck to one product. I don't want to be stuck to one product, and I don't want to step on trademark toes, and I don't want to bid with all the other people doing the product stuff. I want my own market of people who have a problem like a hardship letter or um, can't catch a fish or best time to fish or best lakes to fish in. Um, I want that stuff. Okay, can we change the offers landing page at all or are we stuck with what we get? If you make a lot of money with the offer, they will make you a custom lander. Um, but until then, you're kind of stuck with what you got. What's my opinion on banner traffic? I love banner traffic because people who have sites don't know the value of their traffic, which means I can get it cheap. 
Uh, is affiliate marketing really the easiest form of e-commerce to start? I truly see myself doing this. Uh, affiliate marketing, in my opinion, is definitely the easiest because you don't need a lot. It doesn't cost a lot to start. Um, and you can test without inventory. Like, seriously, that's it's insanely simple. Uh, what We already did that one. Okay, other questions here? I'm an affiliate marketer for Amazon but seems to struggle. That's because Amazon doesn't pay much. Yeah, like your amount you're going to make from, from Amazon is so low, you need better stuff. What's my thoughts on banner ad, native ad networks? I love them. How many offers are too many per page? You'll know. You'll know. It'll depend on the market. Again, you're going to highlight one market. If you learned anything from this, highlight one market. You have your one big earner, and then you have your supplemental stuff. Okay. Is there going to be a replay? Yes, there will be a replay. And we will have some notes. If you want the notes, go to downloadmynotes.com. All right, let's go into what program is right for you, how to get started with the affiliate marketing dude, and then we'll take the rest of the questions here. Now, the top pick, if you are struggling with affiliate marketing and you want me to literally hand you a niche, hand you an offer, tell you how to get traffic, walk you through everything, is our high ticket niche program. This is where I go through and hand select a niche based on a non-competitive keyword. Hint, non-competitive. And find you some super profitable affiliate offers. Then we get you a domain name geared towards the niche. These are super valuable, as you can see from the ticker down there. Um, and we set up a site with you. We hook you up with some plugins, tools, and even some content. And of course, we give you a copy of the Simple Sites program so you can follow along and learn. Most, my most successful students have always chosen a high ticket niche. So if you're struggling with what offer and what traffic, go to highticketniches.com, sign up. This is the top pick. Like, if you're going to get something, if you want me to help you, go through, get a high ticket niche. You guys can see the ticker here. You guys can see some of the results. Uh, really cool. You can see the value of some of the domains. Awesome stuff. Put your name, last name, email, billing information. You guys can see it's secure. You got your bonuses here. Choose your payment option, and boom, we're in business together. We get you a niche. We get you the offers. We walk you through it. We help you make it work, and um, you get support. Like you come on every Tuesday on a call. You ask about your site. Um, it's there's nothing like that on the market. Like there is literally nothing. It's the closest thing to me handing you a business, which is pretty cool. Now, if you're on a budget, go to MarcusMentor.me. This is oh, let's see here. This is a $77 a month uh, program where we help you. If you want us to look at your sites, you want to look at our sites, you want to ask questions, uh, every Tuesday we have that call where you get on, you ask questions, everything. Troy says a high ticket niche is so worth it. Yes, I should be doubling the price, but I haven't yet, so take advantage of that. Um, so this is where uh, you can get updated access to all my plugins, notes from my videos, tools, videos on training, uh, affiliate marketing, everything. Every student of mine, like no matter who you are, you should be in the mentor program because like, do you wanna be able to ask me questions? Do you wanna be able to learn? And guys, it's less than the price of a cup of coffee a day, which is crazy. And the coffee is not even that good and it's not even warm anymore. And you can get coaching for less than the price of a cup of coffee a day. Uh, this works great alongside of all, all of our other stuff, so go to marcusmentor.me if you want that. And then, of course, we have my flagship product, which is a Simple Sites Bonus, which is a training course that walks you through all things affiliate marketing. So you go in here, you log in, and you're like, boom, I'm going to go to the, the Simple Sites, and this walks you through everything. Like, it literally walks you through it. It's got money-getting tools. It's got everything you need to get started. Uh, with affiliate marketing and it trains you with videos that teach you everything how to test your site how to know if things are going to convert how to find offers how to find niches literally everything now when you get a, a high ticket niche you also get simple sites with it so i would suggest starting at the high ticket niches and do it today because the price is going up um, so those are your options okay we ended a little early so let's do some q a right really cool uh, can we see a niche site that you have built? Yes, we actually have a lot of them in the Simple Sites course. You can actually go through. It's called the TNT section, and it's got all like it's got like 200 sites that I built, which is cool. Okay, uh, yeah, Jamie, the plugin area they're always being updated, so sometimes you'll get an error, sometimes it'll work. Just check back, and when they work, download them. 
Um, but the major four plugins are always working. But sometimes we make new ones. All right, so any questions, let us know. On average, how many clicks usually results in money for you? That is covered in the Simple Sites course under the 300 click test. I like to test with about 300 clicks. Okay, this is gonna walk you through it and it'll be like, here's how you test it. Here's how to set up your tracking, choosing your traffic method. It's all there, we walk you through everything. So 300. Purefly has told me that Google and Bing don't allow download offers, so you have to make three or four page blog even if you're only promoting a simple uh, download. Yes, um, you definitely wanna have a solid blog with several pages on it no matter what you're doing. Um, so you wanna check that out. And then also um, check into banner networks and other traffic methods. So you gotta really focus on that as well. But you need to have good sites and, and what is good like, it could be a sales page. That could be good. They just don't want something, like, that doesn't provide a good user experience. So you want to provide a good user experience. All right, other questions? And if you guys are getting the High Ticket Niche, which you definitely should, uh, go to highticketniches.com, fill that form out, and then let us know so that you can kind of shake our hand and say, yeah, I'm working with you. Let's do this. Uh, Max Bounty rejected you for a one-page site. Uh, call them. Tell them you're new and tell them you need help. They'll usually accept you. All right, guys, any other questions? This is your chance. You guys got Q&A. You got me here. Is the profitability of an offer something that you just get to know better with experience? Yes. Now, one of the cool things is if you're in Marcus Mentor Me, and you're like, Marcus, what do you think of this offer? Like, I'll tell you. So like, come on every Tuesday and be on the call and say, what do you think of this offer? Do I use a folder for your site's email? What does a folder mean? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't use a folder for my site's email. I use Outlook. Which ad networks do you use? Anyone that has my traffic. I go for sites not networks. Jelena, good to see you here. Uh, what's the percentage of download of an ext offer? Oh, an extension offer? Usually if the traffic match is good, I could get it around 8%. Or no, not 8%. One out of eight. What's that? 16%? And sometimes higher. Sometimes I can get 20 if it's a really good one. Where do I buy my traffic? Whoever's selling it. Like if I go and I'm like, hey, I want astrology keywords, I would go Google astrology, see if anyone's selling it really cheap. What time is our Tuesday call for MarcusMentor.me? It's at 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. I was told that a lot of offers on CPA are just super affiliates. Does that matter? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you get the check, then who cares? Uh, P. Moore says, how many niche sites do you recommend? As many as you want. Like, that's in the eye of the beholder. Like, if you have a full-time job, maybe do three. Uh, if you're like me, at any time, I might be running between 60 and 100 different sites. On one of your training videos, you mentioned you make a folder for receiving emails from a site. Uh, yeah, in Outlook, you just make separate folders. Hey Marcus, I recently joined Simple Sites program. I had websites I was building before the program, which about make money and fitness. Can I start that instead of start new ones from scratch? Uh, Billiar, go on the uh, Tuesday call and show us your sites. And I'll say, yeah, start from scratch or hey, yeah, you could use these. Has the members area been updated as it's saying 2017? It might say 2017, but it is the 2019. Uh, we merge them together. So all the new stuff is in there. Uh, my programs are dynamic, so they're always changing and they're always updated. Uh, can you put PayPal down below so I can send you a tip for this video? Send me a tip by joining MarcusMentor.me. I don't want a tip because I want to give you value in exchange for what you buy. And $77 a month, cancel any time, is, is pretty much nothing. 
Um, and I think after the first Tuesday call, you'll be like, hell yeah, this is worth it. Uh, which, how many of you guys are on the Tuesday calls? Right? If you guys love the Tuesday calls, put love Tuesday. Um, because those people, like, they're fanatics. They show up like an hour early and they're like, Marcus, why are you not on on time? Well, you're a minute late. And where's the replay? They like flip out over the two. The Tuesday calls are like crazy. Um, and no matter which program you're in, you will get those. Uh, but after your support's over, you do need to join the mentor. Um, so if you have an older program of mine, join the mentor program and you'll get those as well. If you have multiple page website, do you run an ad on each page? Um, not always a different ad, but usually I put an ad on every page, yes. What do you think about retargeting? Retargeting's great. How long does a site have to stay online before Google recognizes them and begin to send traffic that way? Depends on what you're doing. I can get a site indexed pretty quickly. Um, like, literally, Google's crawling the web every freaking minute. So, I mean, they'll find you if you're positioned right. And we go through that. What I would say, a lead, get yourself a high ticket niche or the Simple Sites course, and then go in the Simple Sites course and click on Traffic Plan. And then check out our search traffic section. This is brand new, full on course on how to get SEO traffic. This is gold. You're gonna watch this and you'll be like, holy shit, this should be the price of the course alone. Um, it's, it's really good. Like we went through, uh, I spent two Saturdays, we went like four hours each day, just drilling all the SEO stuff. Okay, uh, where'd we go? A lot of people love Tuesdays, awesome. Um, how about a vid explaining the ad settings and groups? We have that. That is in your simple sites under Pay-Per-Click Pro. This is a whole section on paid traffic. We actually go in and I like set up ads. Like I actually build ads. I forget. Maybe it's in part two. Yeah, I think in part two, we actually start setting up ads and I show you how I make an ad, um, which is crazy. And I actually buy an ad for a new site and show you how it works. Uh, and everything, which is awesome. Like, if you don't have the Simple Sites course and you want to make money with affiliate marketing, um, yeah, you need the Simple Sites course. Like, seriously, come on now. Um, and I, I think, yeah, see, there we are. We're actually bidding. We're actually getting the ad in Bing and Google here, which is crazy. So, like, if you don't think you could part with 297 bucks to learn all this stuff, then... I don't know if you should be an affiliate marketer because like it's all there. Uh, Troy said, I learned more from Marcus in one month than I did from another guru in a year. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, recommend any pre premium white label sources? Sources of what? You said make your own privacy policy. We do have examples of them that you can use in the Simple Sites course as well. What can I do when Udemy won't accept me because I'm a beginner? Uh, don't be a beginner. Make a course or, or, or fix something up. Like, Act like you're not a beginner. Okay, and if an, an affiliate network or an affiliate company won't accept you, do what you can with what you have. Like, I started with ClickBank. You know, I mean, if you got to do it, you got to do it. Money's money, so you just got to kind of do it. All right, guys, any other questions? We'll do like 20 minutes of Q&A and go from there. And so far, scale of 1 to 100, how much did you dig this webinar? And if you really dug it, buy some stuff, right? That's what keeps us doing these. Why is it easier with ClickBank? Because they accept everyone. I heard that Peerfly is pretty easy to get accepted to, too. And if you guys like this training, imagine how much you're going to like my paid stuff. Like, you're going to flip out when you see it. People get in there and they're like, whoa, dude, that's crazy. Um, so definitely check that out. All right, so any other questions, type them in the box. And we'll get the show on the road. Looks like a lot of people are on the high ticket niche page. So go ahead and order your high ticket niche. Um, I have a batch of niches I need to get today. So if you want to put yours on that list, you'll get it way faster. Just sign up now. Put your name on the list with uh, Jackie and Tina, who are our support people. They are awesome. They help you guys with everything. Um, put your ticket in, and we'll get you guys rocking and rolling.
Uh, Chris, uh, Charles says Simple Sites is worth it and has lots of content. Absolutely. And it's not made to go through all in one. Like the reason it's structured the way it's structured is because I want you to go through it in this order. Because when you find your niche, that's going to determine your profit method and your traffic plan. So like if your niche is impossible to get free traffic in, go to the paid traffic videos, right? So you're going you're gonna to look at it. It's like it's a live program. It's a living and it helps you, which is cool. Uh, Camille, if you need your login info, go to PCMoneyMaking.com. Tina and Jackie will help you get whatever you need. Okay. Uh, can you put in question in the Mentor Me anytime? Yes, you can use our support for questions at any time, and we'll try to help you as much as we can. We do urge you to go on the Tuesdays because I can help you way better. Uh, so Rich is cool. Uh, Kyle says, I like it. I have everything but the high-ticket niche. Get yourself a high-ticket niche. You're going to love it. Um, so it's 297 to join the course. How much after? I would say have $100 extra for web hosting, but other than that, we don't charge anything after that. Like the course stands on its own. Um, there is an upsell if you want a high ticket niche, but that's about it. But you don't have to have that. All right, guys, any other questions, let me know. Um, but everyone should at least get the mentor today just because it's like, come on now. Do you want to be able to ask like solid questions about your sites? Have me look over your shoulder. Uh, Camille, get us on live chat. Like if you can't get a ticket going, uh, live chat. But they usually answer the tickets pretty quick. So you might want to check your spam email. Glenn says, anyone who hasn't gotten a high ticket niche, go for it. It's fantastic and well supported. Thanks for that. Um, we try our best to do the support. I spend a small fortune having people here to help you. But um, I find that it's good. It helps. All right, cool. And I'll look you up too, Kamal. I'll see if I can get you a response. Cool. And if you're not getting a response from our support, you're just not checking the right avenues because we're here. Like, we're on live chat every day. We're on tickets every day. We've got live streams every week. So, I mean, just get in there. You'll find us. All right. Also, um, if you're getting a high ticket niche and you want a certain type of affiliate offer, like if you found one on this list that you like, tell them. Like when it asks for your niche, say, hey, I want a niche in this market. Or if you want me to pick, a lot of people are like, dude, Marcus, just pick me something. I don't know what to do. Okay. Charles says, I found a niche by accident that only has 47 pages. I think of competition. They pay $46 a click. I use your bullshit filter. It only has two ads. Cool. Troy says the support tickets are always responded to in a timely fashion. Yeah, they're pretty quick. Uh, we had a little glitch last month when um, we had to let go of one of our people, but they bounced back in like three days, which is cool. That's why we did that uh, bonus call for them because they just worked their ass off and it was good. Uh, how does one access the Tuesday mentor class? Um, ask on the tickets and they'll get you the link for it. And you do need to have an active mentor membership. So if you don't have an active mentor membership, you will not be allowed on the calls. And with your high ticket niche and your simple sites, um, you'll get a link for a free month, or I think the high ticket niche gives you three free months or something like that. All right, cool. Any last minute questions? Troy says, since the glitch, it's been fine. Yep, sometimes we have glitches. It's a business. We're real people. You know, I mean, everyone's got glitches sometimes. Look at how many times your car gets recalled. <laughs> that ain't perfect. All right, cool deal. High Ticket Niche is the place to go, highticketniches.com. And if you do get your High Ticket Niche, I just got from Tina my domains I need. If you want to be on that list, sign up now, and she'll get you in there. Also, the price is going up to $12.77 later today. 
Um, so you definitely want to get in now. I think I'm actually going to change the price now um, because people were like, well, we want it to still include simple sites. And in order to do that, I am going to raise the price a little bit to, to make way for that. So definitely get in there now. And I'll probably change the price at the end of this webinar. All right. Any other questions? Okay. Mentor membership. Where can I join? MarcusMentor.me is where you could join. Uh, yeah, ask Tuesday. On the Tuesday call, ask about browser extensions, and I'll talk about those. Beginning level? Go to marcusmentor.me. Start there. And I think you're going to find that with all the plugins and tools we give you with marcusmentor.me, you're going to be like, dude, this is insane. Like, seriously, you're literally giving me like $2,000 worth of steps to make it work. The simple sites have the potential to provide a good income. A lot of people use it to do really well, so yeah. Now again, results not typical. Like if you buy the course, you're not gonna get rich overnight. You might not make anything. Um, but if you go through and you ask help, like I'm, I'm here to help you. You're gonna go through and you'll be like, Marcus, what do you think of this niche? What do you think of this site? I've actually had students of simple sites go on and make more than I do, which I think is kind of a cool testimonial because usually the guru makes all the money, but sometimes my students out earn me, which is cool. Is the Tuesday the streaming with Facebook? No. Uh, the Tuesday Facebook is a mental health for entrepreneur class, um, which we'll send you guys emails about that, so keep an eye out. But the Tuesday one is, is a mentor class in the afternoon, so I have two calls on Tuesday. Uh, to get approved by Max Bounty, call them. All right, guys, so I think that's about it for today. Um, get yourself signed up, whichever route you use. Highticketniches.com is the best place. And if you want to save 277 bucks or something like that or whatever it works out to, sign up now. Um, and then if you're on a budget, do Marcus Mentor Me. If you just want like the do-it-yourself kind of deal, go to Simple Sites Bonus and everything like that, which is really cool. Um, I spent more than $1 million on ads. You made more than twice that. Yes, I think we were running an average of like 60 to 80% margin on most of our ads. Some were like 50, but yeah, definitely. All right, cool. Raphael says, thanks again. I'll be following your courses. Awesome. Looks good. Uh, he says, I'll meet you one day as a successful guru in my own rights. Awesome. And we have live trainings um, like two or three times a year here in Orlando. Um, and if you're in my courses, you'll learn about those as well. Uh, Richard, you would need to put a ticket in, and we'd have to kind of vet you for that because I get a lot of people who want to just hang out, and, you know, it's it'd be impossible to do, and, you know, yeah, so. Max Bounty approval comes with High Ticket Niche. We will help you get approved to at least one good network with whatever course you get, guaranteed. I have experience in content writing. Should I start affiliate marketing? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what people hate is content writing. So if you're good at content, then, you know, this will be like an ace in the hole. All right, guys. So I think that's about it for today. Go get yourself signed up. Get yourself a high-ticket niche. Well, let's make some money, and I'll see you next week. Thanks again. And make sure you subscribe if you're new.